I make 2D games in Unreal Engine 4. I'm trying to learn pixel art. So, for my first pixel art game jam, I try to keep it simple and make a side-scroller puzzle game so I can focus on making pixel art. It went well. Unreal 2D features kinda feel like uh, an afterthought. The only 2D project template is for a side-scroller, but I've already done that. I wanted to broaden my options and practice making top-down games so I can make one in a future game jam. First, I needed a game idea. I spent a lot of time playing Link to the Past and I always found it was satisfying to throw pots at enemies. So let's do a game about throwing stuff at enemies. At that time I just made a game about vegetables. So my brain couldn't think of anything else than vegetables. It made me think of the grab and throw mechanic of Mario 2. So my idea was a game where the player will plant some magic vegetables, pick them up and throw them at enemies. Basically a gardening action game. First I needed a top-down perspective. Then I made a component to manage draw order. It mostly works. Then I made an 8 directions animation system. So I can play an animation group and set a direction and the animation system would pick the right animation to play. So my logic code can simply say I'm playing the idle animation group and let's say I'm looking down left and then the system would look at what's the animation for idle down left and will update the animation accordingly. I made a turnip that can be held and thrown with some mat magic to make it look like it falls on the ground. I made plans to work as turnip dispensers. I felt stopping to pick up turnip would make it slow and frustrating so I thought having to dodge roll into a plant to grab the turnips would be cooler. And I spent way too much time on 5 placeholder animations. I made enemies to throw stuff at. I stole a stretch and squash component I made for a 3D game jam. Squashing depending on the hit direction. I made them move. They go to a random point around the player. They'll only go to a new position if the player is too close or too far. The camera was stiff. I liked the camera system I made for my side-scroller game. The camera would hug the sides of the level, and depending on the player's position, it would lurp between the two sides of the map. For a top-down version, I made a volume in Unreal with a camera collision type. Then my system recast in four directions to determine the edge of the volume at the player's position. This allows the camera to generally look at the center of the level and make it clear to the player where the level bounds are. That's where I was with that test project. It allowed me to participate to the night jam in August where I made Blast Bash, a beat em up game where you punch mines on robots to blast them all at once. And it went well. I'm Rocky Mullet. If you guys want to try my stuff, you can check my itch page in the description.